Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. And today we're going to be hanging a few things on the pit barrel cooker. The folks over at Pit Barrel Cooker sent us a basket set a few months ago. We haven't had an opportunity to use them yet. You know, we have a, a general purpose basket for like vegetables and things. We got one for sausages and we got one sitting here up here for corn and a cob. So we're going to be hanging all that today. And we're also going to be using one of our own baskets uh, to hang some salmon on the pit barrel cooker also with a couple of hooks. Okay, so hey, don't go nowhere. Hang around and watch how this comes out. He's a bad beast on that barbecue on the grill of the smoker. He knows just what to do. He's a bad beast on that barbecue. All right, guys, so we're going to prep each one of these one at a time. I'm using my uh, barbecue prep tub here as the cutting board surface. Not that I'm cutting anything, but just to uh, help us set these things up, okay? So the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna do the corn. I'm gonna spray the rack with a little Pam. And we're gonna put our corn on the cobs in here. Now these have already been seasoned with a little olive oil and some SPG. So these bad boys are ready to go. And what's nice about these racks, it's got two or three different levels on the bottom of them, depending on how big your, your product is. So I think that'll work right there. And we slide this on tight like so. And our corn is ready to hang on the pit barrel. All right, let's put this on the side. And we do our sausages next. All right. The same thing, we'll spray these. A little Pam, prevent any sticking. And here we have some of these Johnsonville and Dewey sausages. They've been seasoned with a little SPG also. I think we're gonna probably need to have the, the smallest setting on these. Get them squeezed in. Yep, and these are ready to go also. All right, on to the vegetables. Now we have two different types of vegetables here. We have asparagus and we have a mixed combination. I wanna see if I can get them all in this general purpose basket here. It's pretty deep. So we're gonna spray this, same routine. And I think I'm gonna lay the asparagus down in the back first like so. And then we're gonna to try to get these vegetables on top of them. Well, I'm losing a few mushrooms. Where you at, where you at? There we go. A little crowded, but we'll see how that works out. Get our top on here. Everything is locked down. And we're good to go. Oh, getting there. All right. And last but not least, we're going to do the salmon, okay? Now, like I said, this rack here, I'm dropping wood. This rack here is not a rack from Pit Barrel. I just happen to have this rack for fish or what have you. So we're going to see if we can get this to work. I only have a couple pieces of salmon, and they've already been seasoned also. I definitely got to spray both sides of this so nothing will stick. Okay. Get our salmon. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. All right, so we're gonna put our salmon like this. And I'm gonna take the rack down as far as I can to make sure that the salmon holds in place, like so. And then we're gonna put two hooks, one on each end to hang them on the PVC. So the PVC is already outside uh, smoking. We're going to throw in a couple of pieces of apple wood, and we're going to get these bad boys on there. We're going to see how they turn out. So, hey, hang around and don't go nowhere.
All right, guys, so we're finished with our cook. It took about an hour to smoke all this. It smells fantastic, especially if you love smoke flavor in your food. I know a lot of you guys have told me that vegetables take on too much smoke, but we love our vegetables kind of smoky, okay? The corn has a great golden color to it from being in the PVC. The uh, salmon is nice and cooked, but it's not dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste a few of these things here and go ahead and give you my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and taste the vegetables first. I'll grab this mushroom. Not nice and smoky. Look, tastes really good. Need some more seasoning on it. I only season this with SPG, so it could use a little salt. Um, but these that tastes really good. Uh, but some of you might be right. It might be just on the edge of being a little bit too much smoke, but I did use an apple in it instead of using something that's a little bit lighter, maybe like alder or something of that nature, okay? But it tastes really good. I put some butter on this with the, and added a few more seasonings on the vegetables with the smokiness. They'll work out just fine, okay? Let me taste a little bit of the salmon. Nice and flaky. Mm, smells good. That one tastes really, really good. We seasoned that one with the Chef Paul seasoning. This perfect, nice uh, level of smoke on it. Nice flakiness, nice juiciness. That came out really nice. Okay, I'm gonna try the, our andouille sausage. Those taste good too. Although I do like my andouille sausage with a little char on them, so there's not quite enough char on these for me. For the sausage, I might have left them in there about another 20 minutes or so just to get some burnt edges on it because when you have your uh, sausages have a little char on and they got another level of flavor, okay? And last but not least, let's go ahead and try this corn. Smells good. Got some nice color, on the, especially on the one end that was closest to the fire. Let's see what we have here. The corn is juicy, smoky. It tastes real good. It's got some nice uh, flavoring with the SPG. Just need to put a little bit of butter on here, maybe a little romalade sauce to kick it to the Louisiana side of the house, and you can't go wrong, okay? Well, if you got a PBC and you want to hang some stuff in it besides just ribs and chicken, check out the uh, Pit Barrel Cooker website. Uh, they have an, this was an accessory pack. Uh, it comes with the general purpose basket, it comes with the corn basket, and it comes with the sausage or the hot dog basket, okay? The other basket that you saw that we use for the salmon was the basket that I bought off of Amazon, and I'll put a link down in the description block if you're, uh, you know, wanting to look at that or purchase one of those, okay? Once again, I always want to thank the folks at Pit Barrel Cooker for sending us the Pit Barrel Cooker. Love that thing. It is a rib and chicken cooking monster. And of course, you can cook a whole lot of other things as well. Okay, so, hey, that's all we got time for today. So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a whole bunch of stuff just hanging around the Pit Barrel Cooker. Hey, as always, we'll see you guys around the smoker.